Hey chess people, today I want to show you a masterclass in the middle game. I think this game comes from a French and it's right to play. First, let's get comfortable with the position. So in this position, we can see that the white square bishop of black is not that good. It's typical in the French defense that your white square bishop is not that great. So some people play Kerokan to avoid it. And we see that white has more space. And in this martial class, it's all about improving your position, restricting the opponent, where to put pressure, how to plan, and really understanding the position. This isn't going to be a checkmate in five or a, or, or a super tactic, tactical combination. It's going to be more of a master class about when you're in the middle game and you don't have a concrete plan, how to find targets, exploit weaknesses, and create strengths, and uh, improve your position while restricting your opponent. So what kind of move would you play in this critical position? White plays this amazing move that doesn't look amazing, it looks very dull. It stops all black plans with his king, uh, with his knight on a5. Now the black knight just looks silly because the only square he can really go to is b7. This pawn just stops, controls c4 and stops black's plan. So black just uh, plays g6. How does white respond? Improving another piece. Just slowly improving the position. Not doing anything fancy, just slowly improving the position. Black plays this. Now just again, just slowly improving the position. And white already sees something. White already sees that there's a weak knight and a weak queen. Because the queen is on the open file. But whenever you have an open file, a rook versus a king, uh, a rook for versus a queen, the queen sooner or later has to go. So you can see now, just with simple moves, with simple middle game moves, nothing too fancy, no tactical combination, just slowly improving the position and making the position for black worse. And now an amazing, amazing, amazing move in my opinion. This move for me is incredible because if you have a position what would you play i don't think most people would play this why is it good one it stops all all possibilities with the knight knight can never go to c5 because knights want good outpost can never go here it restricts the queen play and all this uh it can never push the pawn because he just uh it just collapses for black on the queen side. With this simple move, white stopped all counterplay on the queen side. Almost all counterplay. White, uh, black just plays rook g c8. And now I think white really understands the position. White knows here it's all blocked. The center is blocked. The queen side is blocked. I'm going to gravitate all my pieces to the king side. And this is why strategy is very important in chess. White understands and has a decisive plan. Opening up lines, attacking the king side, uh, with my better placement, I will win the game. So, white puts all, and black tries to retreat and defend. And again, another slightly improving the position. Nothing crazy, just like a con, just slightly improving the position while restricting the opponent. With every move, the opponent becomes a little bit worse and you become a little bit better. And then you have a winning position. So black in this position, he senses that the white is going to attack because otherwise he will never play G knight g4 and counter strikes with the move pawn to f5. And now white, because he has two bishops here, is just opening up more, more pieces um, more lines for his bishop and it's getting worse and worse for black and now in this position what would you play 
this is not a, a, a crazy move, but in my opinion, the white really understands the position. White understands that if there's a king, king checkmate is going to be black, who's going to be checkmated and not white. And most people, I don't think, would play this move because they, they have learned to play safe. But in this position, you, it's, it's a crime against chess to play safe. Just explode. Because you, white has this amazing bishop, bishops and black's bishop, they also look amazing. But black doesn't have a backbone because he can never play rook g8 because there's a, a knight on h6. And uh, the pieces are just better placed for black. So black tries to defend, shuffle the queen a couple of times, but it's kind of hopeless. And in this position, Bobby Fischer said, tactics flow from superior positions. And this now this position can go into a tactical puzzle, but if you went into a tactical puzzle, you would miss all the preparation. I think this tactical comes from all the martial class middle game. White takes a pawn. Black doesn't have any other option to take it because otherwise you lose the center pawn for nothing. And with this tactic, just exchanging the queens. White comes into a position where white is up a past D pawn and a past F pawn while having a slightly better king because it's one step more in the middle and a better knight. So we see he converted a better, a little bit better position. He just white improved slowly while restricting the opponent. And this, that is what middle game strategy is all about. If you don't have a concrete tactical play, just improve your position while restricting your opponent, put pressure, queen side or king side weaknesses and then break through get the plan and really when you understand the position you will play like the position asks you to play so that was my video for the day i hope you learned a lot and i hope you enjoyed the video